Be a good boy, dudes. What is going on, you guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. This will be one of my last days of riding. It is time to head north. It is just getting too warm for us here off grid. So I figured I'd make the most of the last day and get out on the bike and have some fun. It is about dinner time though, so I think we're gonna go to the butcher and pick up a nice juicy steak. But we've had a really good time out here. It's nice being able to ride every single day and not have to check the weather for the most part. The sun is always shining out here. I just checked the forecast back in Ohio and jeez, it's been some crappy weather especially for May. I've got some videos of snow. Definitely reaffirms why we're out here doing this stuff. Woo, it is windy. Should we give this guy a ride? Definitely feels good to get that video up of the full walkthrough of the build. If you haven't seen that, check it out. We are not done though, by any means. And I think we're gonna be making some more noise here soon if you get what I'm saying. Little pit stop at the Carefree Camper Company. Gotta pick up some packages. Package secured. They also opened up a cafe here in town, the Copper State Cafe, check it out. Now it's time to go get some meat. Secured the meats. We eating good tonight. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, 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 oh I lost my meat. You even know what I'm talking about? Oh, I lost my meat. <laughs> no, hopefully don't have dust on my meat. Come on. Oh, she secured. Whew, that scared me. Got dirty meat. I'll put my meat by my meat. Oh man, I love meat. Diesel, I am back with the meat. Ooh, so good, buddy. Reporting a little bit of hail. Mexico, 
And just like that, we've made it to Flagstaff. It really is a cool feeling to just be in a completely different climate in the matter of hours. We ended up finding a beautiful campsite and we stayed there a few days. And one day we were headed back from the gym and there was two forest rangers blocking the road. I rode up to them and they said, road's closed, you gotta turn around. Dude, we're parked up there. Our dogs, like in our camper, we have to go there. Apparently where we were staying was closed. It wasn't marked. It is public land. And the only way that we would have known is by checking the website. I think that's kind of shady considering a lot of people don't even have access to the internet, but at the end of the day, they can do whatever they want. They did end up issuing tickets to multiple people in that area, just picking and choosing. One guy got a ticket for $180, another guy got a ticket for $80, and we got off with a warning. So the day of the expo, we had to pack up, move camp. It did end up working out because we got a really good spot. It's very warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot of dog. I'm sad you don't get any sleep. It's okay. It's, it's a freaking freezing all there. night. It was, it was so cold. cold. Yeah. Aww. You guys were rough. Yeah, yeah, what the heck? You should have fucking hard. hit us up. We were like yeah. glamping in there. Burn us at all. You guys could have slept on the floor or something in there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I would have rather done that. Take me out. I This is scary stuff, guys. I've never ridden and I'm watching these guys ride and it's making me nervous. <laughs> You're a goober. You literally told all these people that you didn't know how to ride and now they're trying to get you to ride. I don't. Have you seen my leg? I obviously don't know how to ride. What is that? He's like, I'm walking. <laughs> He's fast as bull. What's going on today, Lex? We're adventure dailying. Oh, oh that was so good. <laughs> We are going to the expo day two. There was a lot we didn't get to see yesterday and a lot of food we didn't get to eat. <laughs> we also saved a little bit of money. We didn't get to see any of like the DIY stuff, so that'll be fun to see. Day one was a success. We saw a lot of cool things and that was actually the first day that we got to eat after our 75 hard. So we had a lot of good food. We're gonna do the same thing today. I actually didn't feel too bad. So what's first on the list? Mini donuts and coffee and a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Elisa, how'd you sleep last night? I didn't sleep at all, but it's okay. I, I feel okay right now. They were freezing in the Dodge last yeah, night. My, my feet were like icicles. <laughs> how'd you sleep, Ethan? Dude, I slept like a baby. <laughs> I was warm. It was great. Diesel cuddled with me all night. Very warm dog. You excited for today? Yeah, there's a lot of DIY stuff I really want to see. Eat food. <laughs> Very excited to eat food again. Let's do this. Day two, Overland Expo West. Drink Diesel's tweaking. Drink. He's gonna try each one. <laughs> He's gonna eat each one. Yum. Heaven. We're back on the carbs, baby. Mm, freshly warm, too. Mmm, just like a nice warm. <laughs> Adventure D. Not so adventurous D. Overland Expo West 23. It was definitely less exciting than last year. The energy wasn't the same. I just feel like there wasn't enough going on. This is really just a showcase of the most expensive products and rigs, and that's not what it's supposed to be about. At the core, the Overland Expo is about education in this space and how to do things safely, comfortably, and affordably. It is always cool though, seeing all of these million dollar rigs and getting inspiration for our build. Prices, man, people are smoking crack. I'm talking 10 foot camper boxes for $300,000.
So overall, it was a really good time spent with some really good friends. I absolutely love this place. Reminds me a lot of Colorado, just all of the pine trees, the vegetation. We saw elk already. We have a super isolated spot now, and we're just looking forward to enjoying some time out here. A lot of good riding, a lot of single track close to us. I'm thinking about doing a group ride too. We already met some subscribers in the area. After we get a location worked out, I'll post some things about it. Plenty of good times ahead. And always remember to live free and adventure daily.